I'd like to show you how you can add multiple strokes to layers here inside of Photoshop to produce interesting looks like these. Notice here inside of my layers panel, I have two layers, both of which have multiple strokes applied to them. So let's jump into a blank version of this document with no layer styles, and let's build those looks from scratch. Now to open up the layer styles dialog box, you want to double click on a blank part of that layer. So let's start with the circle, double clicking our layer style dialog box. Let's come down to the entry for stroke, click on it once, the stroke will appear just out here, and the attributes for that stroke are just here. So let's go and change the color to white, which it already is. And let's go and change the size to something nice and thick, like 70 pixels. We have a position value just here. It's currently set to inside. We also have values for center as well as outside. I'll revisit this in just a few moments after I add the second stroke. So let's add that second stroke just now. There's an FX icon in the lower left corner. You could add the extra stroke just there. Or where it says stroke just up here, the little plus sign, just click on that, which I'll do just now. Now, when you do that, you get a second stroke, but visually nothing changes out here because that second stroke currently has the same attributes as the first. And by the first, I mean the lowermost stroke. So I'm making sure I have the topmost stroke selected just here. And I'm going to change the color to, let's go and sample the blue just here. And I might uh, make a darker version of that. So we've changed the color from white to the dark blue just there. And then let's go and change the size from 70 down to something like 50. Now, as soon as I make this topmost stroke thinner, notice we can start to see the bottommost stroke popping through. But uh, you might notice that the alignment isn't exactly what I have compared to what I showed you at the start. So the way to achieve that exactly is to start playing with the position just here. So going after the bottom stroke, let's change its position from outside to center. Come back to the topmost stroke, change its position also to center, and check it out. We now have this ring-like look appearance, and we were able to achieve that by having two overlapping strokes, both set to a position of center. Very nice, choosing okay. Let's have a look at this second example just here. I'll just remind you, I'll jump back to the first document I showed you. We're going to be stacking multiple strokes, but check it out, we've got a little bit of internal transparency going on just in here. I'd like to show you how to also achieve that. Okay, so let's scoot this over. Got my person layer just here. Let's double click on a blank part of that layer. Let's add a stroke. Let's make this a nice, thick white stroke. So 80 pixels, white set to inside. That's a good start. Let's add our second stroke. Let's make that black. And let's make that say 70 pixels. Let's go and add a third stroke. I'll make that white. And I'll bring the size down to something like 50 pixels. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. But um, of course, we've got a black line showing up inside of here. How can we make that transparent? Well, let's go and choose the second stroke, which is the black middle stroke just in there. And the trick, guys, the opacity, bring it down from 100% to 0%. I'll choose OK and let's zoom in just here and check this out. We indeed actually have now transparency where that black stroke was a moment ago. So just to remind you how I did that, I'll just double click to get back into our layer style options just there. Actually, I'll just scoot this over, double click to get back in. The second most stroke, I just brought the opacity down from 100% to 0%, which makes it transparency, pushing all the way through, not just any strokes below it, but also through the layer itself. And you can actually see the background now through those layer styles. So I might leave it at that point just there, guys. I hope that gives you some cool ideas of things you can do with strokes here inside of Photoshop. Catch you later.